welcome today to today's prep clip on long-term small engine uh, storage. So there's always a debate on proper way to store uh, engines for you know over winter or over summer, depending on what type of, uh, of implement or tool it's it's used for. But really, uh, the primary thing we're concerned with is having that tool ready for when we need it maybe after a, a disaster, say a windstorm or a, a, a winter snowstorm, anything like that. And we want that small engine to start to uh, power our, our snow blower or our chainsaw or whatever is the implement or, or tool it is that we need to power. So today's prep clip is really going to focus on two different types of engines, four-stroke engines and two-stroke engines. So we really care, there's, there's a little bit of a difference between how uh, manufacturers recommend to store these for long term, so we're going to go in depth on, uh, on those two engine types and really focus on a couple things. So the primary things on over here, we're, we're concerned with fuel and fuel storage and stabilization. Uh, and then on the left hand side here, we, we're concerned with the battery, should it have one, um, and, and really how to maintain that battery over a long term of really no use. Uh, the thing about fuel is that most modern fuels contain a percentage of, of ethanol. So ethanol, most uh, fuel pumps are going to be about 10%. Uh, we can get higher ethanol ratings, but uh, almost unanimously, small engine producers do not recommend high ethanol content uh, in their small engines. And so we don't want that ethanol-based fuel uh, or gas left in that small engine for long durations because uh, it can degrade over time and cause damage to the small orifices and ports and uh, make it a bad day when it comes time to start that again and a lot of cleaning. So stay tuned and we're going to go through the two engine types. Please find additional resources on our website, indianaprepared.org, our YouTube channel, and our Facebook.